what's up guys so uh, today I'm doing something that I've been meaning to do for a while but uh, I just haven't been able to get to it because of uh, work and uh, the weather so um, now that it's like October 2nd and uh, the heat has chilled out a little bit I'd say that we've dropped a good like 10 degrees on average a day which is really nice because um, Florida heat is just unbearable um, yeah so uh, I'm going to manual swap the Cressida today. Um, I've had everything to do this for probably like three months now. Um, just haven't really been able to get to it because of my schedule. So um, so yeah, uh, I cleaned the whole garage the other day because I was going a little nuts. Um, and I have plenty of room in here to get it done. I'm going to bring the Cressida in here, get it up on jack stands, and then uh, yeah, start, start pulling out the automatic transmission. I'm probably gonna have to go get a rear main seal, so I guess I'll look into that before I dig in. Um, but yeah, I got pretty much everything sitting right here. I got the W58, I've got an excessive pedal, master, slave, I've got the front half shaft. Alright, so we got the Crescent in the garage here because, well, the difference between outside and the garage is like 20 degrees. It's better being, being able to work in the shade than uh, out in the sun. So uh, I'm gonna put this thing up on jack stands and uh, start tackling the easy stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that the uh, clutch slay or clutch master and pedal mounting spot is already like pre-drilled and open. Um, Toyota did it from factor. I'm pretty sure last time I looked in there, I saw that. Um, I'll show you guys that part, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna start there. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, let's get to it. And there we go. There's where the uh, master cylinder goes. As you can see, there's plugs here got a plug in each of the three spots or two spots where the bolts go and then one where the uh, master slides through so uh shout out toyota on that one because it would be really difficult getting a drill in there with the uh with the size bit that i would need to get that open so uh hell yeah for that all right so on to jack stands it goes all right so it's on jack stands now um, I got the transmission draining out. I'm probably gonna drop the transmission brace so it lowers down the upper bolts more. Okay, so I worked out here until like 4 a.m. last night, uh, working on the Cressida. Um, it ended up being a little bit harder than I thought it would be, mainly because um, when you drop the engine down, there's these two top bolts um, on the top of the bell housing. And um, for whatever reason, Toyota decided to put like little channels on either side. I'll show you right now on the Auto Trans. Um, they put these channels on each side of where the bolt is so when you put a wrench in here to try to pull it down the wrench will like max out and you can't get it any farther so i had to remove the uh, intake manifold 
so the engine could tilt back further because the intake was hitting the brake booster and then I had to remove the whole exhaust system because it was hitting the uh, power steering lines and then I was able to drop the engine down just a little bit further and uh, break those bolts loose. Excessive master cylinder, uh, I put it through here. It's really cool because I think I mentioned it earlier, Toyota has the holes already and they just have little plugs in there. So you just gotta pop out the plugs and then you can slip this through. And uh, I have a steel line, so that's ran down there and I picked up a new slave cylinder and the pedal is down in here as well. Uh, it's really, really dark. You can't even see that. But uh, yeah, I got the pedal in as well. And then I had my mom come out here and press the clutch pedal in so it could uh, bleed properly. And then, of course, here's the uh, MK3 W58. It comes right up into the shifter area and you don't have to modify or mess with anything. So that's really nice. I'll show you guys how to do the uh, neutral safety jump next so you can make sure you get that done. Um, I'm not going to do the reverse lighting right now just because I don't have the, uh, the plug for what would be the harness side of the um, manual harness for the uh, trans and I don't just want to put spade connectors on there for my reverse lights even though I could. So for the neutral safety switch you just take the three prong, three prong plug from the transmission uh, you cut that off you take the two larger wires they look like two gauge bridge those together and then leave this blue wire here or at least leave enough to splice into because when you wire up your reverse lights if you want to you need this wire to provide power so yeah make sure you leave this here but if you just put this on here like this and plug it in the car will be bypassed and you can start it right up driving the manual swap Cressida right now. It's kind of dark out, but the sun's going down. Um, everything feels really, really good. Um, I might need to add a little bit more fluid, but other than that, car's driving with no issues. Uh, feels great. It's actually a whole lot quicker with the manual transmission than it was with the auto. The car feels honestly completely different. Like with the auto transmission, it was super laggy and it, I would guess it was slipping a little bit. It did have very low fluid in it. So I'm guessing, yeah, this, the transmission was just slipping all the time, but uh, this feels fantastic. Super responsive, uh, all five gears work, which is awesome because it's a W58 and we all know that these are mashed potato transmissions. So that's, uh, that's really good news. Um, I'm really, really excited.